Hey, what's going on? I'm LaPrentis Sampson and I help health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we're gonna figure out what is the difference between Fiji water and just normal water, all right? So, before we get started, let me go ahead and grab some water <laughs> from the tap. All right, in the meantime, while I'm doing this, actually, I just got it done. But what you want to do is you want to smash that subscribe button. That way you can get more tips, tricks, and tactics on how to improve your overall wellness. Now, this is essentially a water battle. And if you haven't seen any of these yet, I do these quite often, definitely check out the other videos. And we're gonna see which one is better. And we're gonna check these for three properties and uh, probably look at a few bonus things as well, all right? So, Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so the first thing we wanna test for is antioxidants. Now, why antioxidants? This is actually probably one of the biggest things. Our body is 75% water, okay? So any ailments and things that we're having, if we can change the water, if we're having water that is not oxidizing us, but is an antioxidant, then we can feel a lot better, we can have more energy, we can have improved health, all right? Now, before we go into antioxidants, I wanna share with you that there's things all around us. These things are known as free radicals. They're in the air that we breathe, they're in the foods that we eat, um, they're in our electronics, our cell phones. And what they do is they enter our body and they start taking away electrons from our healthy cells. When it takes that electron, that cell doesn't have a way to breathe. It doesn't have a way to take in nutrients and excrete waste. So it creates oxidation, starts oxidizing itself. It starts to look like this banana, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, and it creates inflammation, gets inflamed. And then it starts creating that cycle with all the other cells around it. Because the other ones start losing their elect electron as well. So that vicious cycle of oxidation, inflammation, oxidation, inflammation continues, and that increases sickness, that um, leads to a lot of different health concerns that ultimately is the cause for every sickness known to man. So antioxidants. Those have extra electrons. What they do is they help out those struggling cells by giving them an electron so they can reduce that oxidation, bring down that inflammation. It's essentially gonna keep you looking young, feeling health, being healthy, and it's essentially a fountain of youth, all right? So that oxidized stuff, that stuff that creates oxidation, it's usually positively charged. And our antioxidants are negatively charged. And so that's how we're gonna test these First, we're gonna use this ORP meter. ORP stands for oxidative reduction potential or the potential to reduce oxidation, right? So we are going to pour this Fiji and we're gonna run this meter. Now, if we see a positive number, that means it's oxidizing us, it's creating more sickness and inflammation in the body. And inflammation, you can think of any type of itis. So if you're experiencing itis, that means you are dealing with a form of inflammation. However, if we see a negative number, that means it's an antioxidant, anti-aging water, and it's actually gonna help bring down those ailments so we can start feeling better. All right, so let's see what we get. Let's try out Fiji water here. Let's see what we get. All right, we're getting a 2, 220, 230. 240 is climbing, and it's climbing because it's coming in contact with the air, and the air is oxidizing, remember? So let's go ahead and take a look at our tap water. Let's see, maybe our tap water is better for us. Let's check it out. Nope, it is still showing positive. It's showing a positive 270, 280, okay? So they're roughly, they're both oxidizing us, they're about the same, All right? So that first test on oxidation, they are both oxidizing us. And I wanna say the Fiji water is doing a little bit less. Nope, it's doing just as much now. And that's just because it's been sitting out in the air, all right? So when it comes to oxidation, I would say they're both oxidizing us, they're both doing the same thing. All right, so the second thing we're gonna test for is alkalinity. Cancer, sickness, and disease cannot survive in an alkaline environment. And so we want to ensure that our body, most of the parts of it anyhow, stay slightly alkaline. 
Specifically our blood. Our blood, we want to make sure it stays a 7.365. Um, so if we're consuming things that are more alkaline, it's going to allow our blood to stay there and actually be able to transfer nutrients around the body, pick up waste, discrete it, get rid of it, all that good stuff. However, if it becomes too acidic, um, our body is still going to work to make sure that our blood stays at 7.365. It's just going to take it from you. So I start taking it from our skin. That's how we get eczema. Um, it's going to start taking it from our bones, our joints, and our ligaments. And this is how osteoporosis happens. If it continues, it's going to start taking the nutrients, the alkalinity that we need from our brain. This is how we get Alzheimer's, right? So to test pH, we have these pH drops, phenol red drops. And I'm gonna put a few drops in both of these waters. Now, if we see a red, a orange, a yellow, that means it is acidic and it is actually eating the nutrients and minerals that's in our body. However, if we see a blue or purple or dark purple, that means it's alkaline, it's keeping our body balanced and it's gonna fight off those acidic foods that we're eating, all right? Let's see what we get. All right, so here are both of them. And right now they both look pretty even. So I think someone asked this question, what's the difference between them? Cause they're probably thinking that maybe Fiji water is tap water. This one looks a little lighter, but I think it's because I didn't add as many drops. There we go, now it's fair. Looks pretty, they're pretty even, right? So let's try to test the alkalinity, right? Cause they're both showing that they're alkaline. So I'm gonna use my breath to see if we can actually change the alkalinity and see if it's actually truly alkaline or if it's just faking it. All right. So Fiji water is looking neutral, looking pretty neutral actually. So there's something being added to this to make it look good, it's being neutral. Let's check our tap water, right? There's, there's nothing in our tap water, right? All right, so, <laughs> These are looking, the tap water is looking a little bit lighter. So the Fiji water is good in that aspect, but at the same time we know, well, if you don't know, you're about to know that there's chlorine in our tap water. There's lye, there's all these other things that try to keep it regulated per the government. They wanna make sure that stays at minimum neutral. Okay, so when it comes to alkalinity, I would say they're both the same. You let me know. You let me know what you think in the comments. I think this one's a little bit better. All right, for our third test, we are in test for superior hydration. I wanna see which one is actually gonna hydrate us better. If it's gonna be our Fiji water or if it's just gonna be the regular old Northern California tax water or tap water, sorry. So we're gonna use this tea bag, right? And this tea bag is gonna represent us dehydrated, okay? And we're gonna see if we can make tea using this water, all right? And you're probably thinking, well, Prentice, this is not how you make tea. Well, let me, let me just try this, all right? So here is our Fiji water. And like you probably already guessed, it's not really making tea. And you're thinking, well, that's because you have to boil the tea. Well, why do we have to boil it? We're boiling it because we're making the water molecules small enough to actually pass through the tea bag and pull out nutrients, okay? <laughs> so uh, what if we didn't have to do that? You know what I'm saying? So the water molecules should be small enough to enter our cells and actually hydrate us. So we saw we got a little bit there, probably like 5% or so. Let's see what happens when we do it with tap water. All right, they're looking about the same. So let me go ahead and try this one more time because the bag was wet the first time. So maybe I'll get something a little different this time around. Mm. 
Nope. And here's the thing, like I'm having to jump up and down. I'm having to jump. You shouldn't have to jump up and down to feel hydrated. Okay, you shouldn't have to bounce around. You shouldn't have to do anything crazy like that. Um, and yet I'm having to do that to make this tea. So what if there was a water that can actually make tea? I mean, not make tea, I mean hydrate you, right? So you see I have this last cup here and all I did was squeeze the juice of the tea bag in and I'm just gonna grab some water, okay? <laughs> this is not tap water, this is not the bottled water stuff, but if I go ahead and pour it, guess what? It actually starts hydrating you so much better than these other waters here, which is pretty crazy, right? In fact, it does it way better than these other waters, which is awesome. So I just wanted to show you that there is a water. And on top of that, this is very alkaline. And on top of that, this is antioxidant. So this beats both of these like easily, all right? So just wanted to show you that, all right? Um, but as far as this, these two waters are looking about even. There's one more thing I wanna test for and then we'll be good. All right, so the last thing I wanna test for is chlorine. I mean, we tested everything else <laughs> in here. We should see if there's chlorine in our Fiji water, right? And we're in our tap water. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of this. And pour some of this. And what I have here are chlorine indicating drops. Now, if you see the water turn yellow, that's chlorine, and there is chlorine in the water. Now, here's the thing. We know that there's chlorine in our tap water because it's meant to kill off organisms, okay? It's meant to kill off organisms and bacteria and stuff like that. So, the problem though with that is, it does it so much that there's still chlorine when it gets up to us. And we end up bathing in this, we end up brushing our teeth in this stuff, and guess what? We're one big organism, and so, this starts affecting our skin, this starts affecting our health, and it ends up harming us overall. So, as you see, yep, there is chlorine in this. However, there is no chlorine in the Fiji water. So what are we paying for then here? We're paying for non-chlorinated water. <laughs> Besides that, everything else is the same, I think. You let me know what you think in the comments, all right? Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions. If you want to learn more about that other water that I showed you, then I would say keep watching these videos, all right? I got plenty of them out there where I share the amazing benefits of drinking the right water and what's best for your health because you deserve it, all right? Thanks for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.